Hello, ladies and gents. Uh, just want to do a quick uh, test. Microphones on. Uh, game captures not. Oh, fuck it out. Got to turn then me audio. Uh, that's it. What's going on? Why is there no... There it is. I can see it. There we go. Alright. Left for Dead. Part 3. Excited. Let's play the campaign. Single player as always. And then... Uh... It's it's really weird. Because the sacrifice is supposed to become like the last chapter of uh, Finny. So I'm actually going to do a little bit differently. And I'm going to start with No Mercy, because I know that's the first episode of Left 4 Dead 1. And then... After Dead Air... This is the last last. So... I'll do No Mercy until Dead Air today. And then the next stream I'll do Blood Harvest, No Mercy, and then the last stand. There we go. I mean the sacrifice, sorry. There we go. Uh, random. Start the game. Let's go. Oh yeah. Still loving this game, man. Still a masterpiece. Although, I will say, I have been playing Back for Blood, just because I'm in a very Left 4 Dead-esque mood, and I don't want to play like outside of streaming. And they actually did a phenomenal update that legitimately, in my first opinion, would keep the game. We can take the subway tunnels to the hospital. There's a red line station not far from here. Well, I guess we're going to the hospital. Sweet. But yeah, basically what they did is that uh, the game actually revolved around this uh, roguelike card system before. Where you would get cards and then you would... Uh, after each level, you would pick a new card, and it goes up to 15, so that you would consistently get better with each level. But they actually removed that feature, and they made it just so that you start the level with all 15 cards. And I legitimately love that feature. I think it's absolutely matches to... Fix the issue that I've had with Black and Bloods, or at least Reloading. some of it. Um, where. Oh, no. I think I hear a yeah. so big. Nice. nice. Oh, yeah. I will always pick up a ninja sword. Always. Oh, there was a boober nearby, so. Let's be slightly careful. So honestly, I do have to say, I'm really enjoying Back for Blood. They might have redeemed it with that update. I mean, obviously it's still like, it's not as good as Left 4 Dead, clearly. Um, because the zombies are just not as fun to shoot. In Black for Blood, they're just like really basic zombies. Um, there's like next to no giving system, the animations are really lame. Uh, all that. Where is the people? I've had them for ages. Oh, there is. So satisfying. Oh, your smoker as well. And a spitter. Uh, 
time as a witch. The station's just up the street. Weapons here. Witch. Oh, the shoes. Wait, what, what was that? She's getting up. Where's the bad stuff? <laughs> God, Francis. God damn, the voice actors did such a phenomenal job. It's not even just like the voice actors, but just like the way they're written. Like, I, I love this kind of like writing when it comes to characters, where it's literally these guys are super casual. Nice shot. I've never been up there. Like, the, yeah, like I said, these characters are super casual. They've literally just met. And I love that about this game. Um, okay. I guess it's just not another way to go. Interesting. Pills here. We might need these. Ah, uh, let's just finish the level. We're literally at the end. I don't know why I'm exploring. Don't shoot the kind of boring for video. Nobody watches them. But, you know. <laughs> Can you imagine they actually made a Left 4 Dead 3? You know, they announce it, it's like super cool and all that. And then, uh... Turns out to be our title. Like, uh... The new, uh, half that kid. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I don't have an issue with uh, VR titles, I mean... The Half-Life Alex is actually a really good game. I haven't played it, but I have seen stuff, and I, I do like what they've done with the game. Which is, I'm not really all that interested in VR. And I'm gonna be honest, a lot of people probably aren't interested in VR. Like, to me, it, yeah, it's cool, and games like Half-Life Alex is, you know, it, it's really cool being really immersive, you know, you can basically do anything. Um... But at the same time, it really feels like there's just not a lot of good VR games. You know, they're all usually just really bad garbage here. That's just my take on it. I'm sure a lot of people do it. But I would like to try it out. I know a friend of mine said it really good.
Oh, I'm stuck in the bin. Uh oh. I think Back for Blood is really starting to become something really good, man. Like, like I said before, I do hope that there is a sequel. Because I do. I, I hope it's going to be Back for Blood 2. They realise the mistakes they've made for the first game, and then they just improve them. things. Oh my god, this thing's a piece of shit. <laughs> a very, very bad throw. Jim, you pull like all the internet. Thanks a lot. Sure. Unless you have to do the whole like shotgun thing, we have to get behind them. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, 
This is a really not a good start the Left 4 Dead 1 crew. First, fucking punch his eyes, but now it's getting down twice. Oops, sorry. Excuse me! Lord. Hey! You alright? Yeah? Oh man, she is a bitch. So am I. Weapons here! Ah, oh, sorry. Hay fever. Ammo here. The AK is really good, but it's less accurate. I, I think they did a fantastic job at uh, bouncing. Like, there's not a lot of weapons in this game, but the weapons that are there are really bad. Quality of I will say, as well, like... Oh, it's close, I'm going to that. Uh, before, I would have to say that World War Z was a better game than Back for Blood, but now, I legitimately think that that's turned around. I think Terror Rock actually improved the game so much that it's now a better game than World War Z. Um, and I honestly... World War Z, let's be honest, it's not going to get updated anymore. It's not. That, that's just how it is. Um, and it's a shame, because I actually really like World War Z. Um, sorry. Um, like I said, I, I really like it, but... I just really feel like that they... It was an excellent first attempt, because let's be honest, like, outside, it really didn't feel like a lot of people have attempted to do the whole Left 4 Dead copy thing. Like, obviously there has been a lot of these games, but I'd say that uh, World War uh, Z, Z, whatever. I'm going to call it World War Z from now on. World War Z. I like it. Weapons over here. Um, was a very good attempt. Like I do have to say, they they do a lot of correct things when it comes to making Left 4 Dead copy, and that is making zombies home. satisfying to kill. And they absolutely did that. They absolutely nailed the whole like aspect of killing zombies. It's fun. Like weapons are really effective at all times. Weapons. Um Look out! Grenade! Weapons are really effective at all times, even tier well tier one weapons. Um There was a fuck ton of weapons, which was fantastic, and all of them felt really satisfying to use. Um Excellent. Did not just come from here. It's not. This is not the best fucking weapon in the game. Reloading. 
Uh, and yeah, uh, honestly, the World War Z had a very big problem with. Um, first of all, content. There was fuck all content in the game. And it's a shame because, like, let's be honest, Left 4 Dead at launch also had just not a lot of content. Like, you can complete the game in five hours. Revolution! Sorry. Um, Weapons here. You know, but I really feel like that, you know, World War Z came out like, what, seven years after Left 4 Dead? You know, maybe you can come up with more content. And now there is a lot of content. You know, there's, there's eight levels total. And honestly, I just feel like that that's how the game yeah, should have started. You know? Um. Uh, but the thing that it definitely got wrong in my first game was, first of all, the sound design slash music. I'm sorry, but it, it was just like, Reloading! the sound effects really felt really generic. Like, just, um, what, what's it called? The stop Molotov sound here. effects. That's honestly what it sounded like to me. Um, and it's a shame. Because Left Dead has some phenomenal sound and music. Um, um, because of that, it really ruined the whole experience. Uh, another thing that they absolutely messed up on was the atmosphere. It had such a boring atmosphere. Holy crap. It was just so bad. Pills here. And yeah, the atmosphere of World War Z was just really disappointing. It was so boring and generic. Uh, special Infected as well, really boring, really generic. A Hunter was literally just a guy in a fucking tracksuit, that's it. I know the Hunter in this game is just a guy in a hoodie, but like, the overall design just... It fits much better. Alright. Uh, and then there was like, the Screamer, right? Uh, Screamer attracts other zombies, so it's a... So it's like a... Like a... A worker? Uh, like a... A construction worker, there we go. Because they, they've got those like, uh... Fucking microphones around the hell, right? So that's a Screamer, right? But then, in some levels, you also get a lot of construction workers as well that look almost identical to the Screamer. Okay, like, what? <laughs> Should not come up with something more interesting? And they did eventually start adding more interesting looking uh, uh, special infected. So, you know, they had the like, military explosive vest guy that, you know, explodes. Does a lot of damage, okay. Yeah, he's interesting. He looks kind of interesting. Then they eventually added like a booster, right? Booster, which basically makes zombies more uh, effective. And it was really good. Uh, he legitimately looked great. That was a very good spurt. Very good spurt. 
He also added uh, rats as well, like uh, a wave of rats. Weapons over here. I hate this part. Um. And yeah, like eventually they did, get, they did get better. In my personal opinion, the uh, the creep, which is the hunter, should have just been like a zombie dog, right? That would have made sense. What if a tank? I mean, the tank was alright, I guess, in the game. It was, I'm uh, here. Cover me. I'm healing. Cover me. Uh, the tank was like a. Um, It was one of those, um, uh, armored SWAT guys. So I, I, I guess that's fine. But why not do something like a uh, zombie bear or a gorilla, right? I guess it's not really immersive because, you know. How would you find those? In the cities, which is mostly where most of the takes place, but you know. Another thing that they definitely messed up on is the characters. Holy fucking crap. The characters in all the seats stuck. Oh my god, they definitely went for quantity over quality. This, uh, let's see, there's, uh, eight, there's sixteen, uh, Mercy okay, so there's 20 right survivors in uh, World War Z, right? Reloading. All of them combined are less interesting than one character in Left 4 Dead. They're all just really fucking generic, fucking dog shit characters. Hey, I'm typical Russian. Hey, I'm typical fucking French guy. I don't know why I still feel a Russian accent. Phil, what are you doing? You old fuck. I'm sorry, but that was just First atrocious. aid here. Absolutely. You gotta get to the hospital. Cover me. Um. Yeah. Honestly, I really hope that World War Z, uh, Z, Z, whatever. Uh, get, also get a sequel because I, I I really do want to see a sequel to to the game. The hospital, we made it. Take your first aids. Nice. Man, reload pants in this game is a nightmare. I never realized that. The worst part is, is when you reload cancel, cancel, you have to do a whole reload animation again. I'm so used to Apex Legends, where if you uh, do a cancel, uh, and you switch back to it, you'll just do a quick like pop of the weapon, and that's it. Which is super quick. This doesn't smell like a hospital. That's a tank browse.
Okay, what's well, subtitles for attack? So I'm scared. What's attack? What is that sound? Another thing that I think World War Z really needs is they need to have like a proper uh, like update as the is like honestly the updates just felt so random. Uh, it felt really random. Like uh, like it took him like half a year I think. To come up with one level, um, like it was literally like uh, Battlefield 2042 levels of content, right? Um, Lewis. You know, they get a new level and a couple of new weapons, I think. I legitimately like thought to myself, all right, they're, they're probably not gonna do any more content updates considering that you know it took him this long. Come up with one map, and it's been like over a year since that update. Like, check this out. All right. Um, Everybody, hold up. But they did come up with Aftermath, uh, with two new levels, uh, a first person mode, which I love. Um, but still, like... Weapons over here! In my personal opinion, I really need to do, like, seasonal content, like, what every game is doing nowadays. What up, dude? How are you? You alright? Honestly, I wouldn't mind. I I really don't mind season passes. I really don't mind them. A lot of people bitch about them, but honestly, I just feel like it's because um, people don't like paying for stuff. But honestly, I think season passes are, are they're perfectly fine. Uh, they keep you interested for all season. They give you more progression. I I, I really do think it's fine. And I honestly, I would like to see. A battle pass system implemented in the World War Z because the progression fucking sucked in that game as well. Yo, check this out. Okay, let's talk about just completely. What if they made a World War Z 2? Right? What would I like to see in World War Z 2? First of all, characters. Honestly, I don't want them to create new interesting characters, but I want to see something different. Something that Left 4 Dead S games have not done before. And that is custom characters. Why not allow us to make our own characters, right? Create a character creator tool, like something similar to like Fallout or something, right? Allow us to create 
uh, sorry, uh, equip them with whatever, like... Pills here! Watch out! Uh, with... I'm really bad at commentating. Whatever clothes you want, and just allow yourself to make your own, basically, like, character, like... I, personally, I love it when video games do that. Instead of having shitty characters like World War Z, you can just have, you know, a really cool, immersive fucking way of doing that. This is really cool, I, I, I like this part. Start breaking down walls. You thought you were safe in this car, but you're not. I love it. So that's the first thing that I want to see in the game. Character creator, so we can create our own characters. Boom. Period. Uh, you'd be able to like equip them whatever clothes you want. You'd be able to like unlock new clothes with the battle pass system. Other progression systems. Uh, another thing I would like to see implemented is. Sorry. Um. It's weapon customization as well. I like I said I hated the weapon progression in the game. What's going on? Okay, it's really a slow elevator, huh? Um, but the, basically the way it worked was you had a weapon, right? And then that weapon had five levels. We uh, need to you'd find go in, access. use the weapon, right? And then, let's say you leveled up your weapon, right? You can use it a lot, you leveled up the weapon. And then, you could not level up the weapon further until you bought the level 2 upgrade, right? And that's just like, you get to choose between two different weapon, um, uh, two different weapon, what's it, fucking variants, there we go, variants, right? And they have different attachments. One that might like improve its ammo or improve its accuracy, right? Choose one of them and then you can start progressing the levels again. I'm sorry, I hate the system, I think it's boring. It, it just sucks. It really does. Um, so I would honestly just like to see just 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 allow us to create our own guns. Uh, sorry, add our own attachments, right? Just do like a gunsmith system. It doesn't have to be exactly like the Modern Warfare version. A simple one will do. allows to create like our weapons how do you want them uh I'm just running around in a circle nope safe house through here Ooh. lock the door man Woo, baby all right Uh, alright. And um, also, another thing I'd definitely like to see added is weapon camos. Weapon camo grinding. Oh my god. This is one of my favorite things about, like, any, like, multiplayer, FPS, whatever. I want to be able to grind for weapons. 
weapon camos, weapon attachments, and all that. That to me, that that's a very like satisfying thing you can do. Um, and it keeps you engaged in the game. Right? It keeps you playing for longer if you've got something to grind for. Personally, I think that would already infinitely improve Warboard Seeds into a really good fucking Left Dead clone. Alright. So far, we've got fully customizable characters, so you can just create a character. I definitely hear a boom. Which fixes the whole issue of having badly written characters, which Warboard Seeds. Oh my god, it had atrocious characters. They were the most generic characters ever. They were forgettable as all hell. Um, thank you. Um... Hey, wonder And then we've also got like a Call of Duty esque weapon progression system. In my personal opinion, uh, I I I love that system. I think it works really well. A lot of people bitch about the grinding, but I think it's really good. Um, proper seasonal content. Uh, unlike fucking the having maybe one content update a year. Ammo here. Man, I always wanted to fire one of these things. Reloaded! Okay, I'm ready. Actually, oh yeah. Man, up there, just in case. I'm really not good with like, Go on and head out, we're ready. Cool stuff. All right, the next thing, uh, let's see, more content on launch as well, minimum of six levels, preferably eight levels, uh, what was he, like I said, had four levels at launch, I know it's what Left 4 Dead had, uh, but, you know, you don't have to copy Left 4 Dead, uh, let's see, well, what else? What else? What else? Uh, sound design. It just needs a massive overhaul. I think the only sound design that I actually like in the game is the horde, like, sounds. And that's it. I don't like anything else. Charger! Got it! Good one. Uh, so, other than that, they, they just need to make things sound more, like, stronger. You know, beefier, bassier. Crunchy, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, everything sounds so weak. Okay. Oh. 
Zoe, you are so fucked. Sneezy. Awesome. Uh, really classic level. I like it. Real classic. Uh, so yeah, what it was eats? Just full blown audio overhaul. Uh, music as well. Music is fucking lame. Oh, okay. Another thing. The atmosphere. They need to fix the atmosphere just completely. Like I said, the atmosphere in World War Z was an atrocity. It was so boring. Ugh. What am I doing? Crash course. Uh, it, it really was. I... It like it's supposed to be a horror game. It wasn't. It felt much more like a like a very slow paced action game. Well, I guess we're walking. I hate walking. Like five minutes ago, you hated flying. And it turns out I was right about that. <laughs> right. Cool. Uh -huh. Grab that. Ah, uh, who took the... Uh... Oh, I did. <laughs> Go. Man, this game is fun. What? Monotop! Uh, by the way, I did take a look at some other, uh, like, modding websites, and apparently there are some, like, graphic overhauls, um, it's not a lot, to be honest. This game does do a lot of these, like, uh, 
uh, waifu anime type S uh, updates. But the funny ones, Shrek as a tank, which I will say is really fucking funny. Uh, but I personally really like having like funny vanilla friendly mods. Like I said, like I've got this Modern Warfare weapon pack, and to me that makes sense because these are literally just higher quality weapons. I I like it. Um... Reloading. Got a weapon here. Those bastards are in for a big surprise. <laughs> you know what? I just realized something. In my previous video, I said it would be really cool if like one of the characters was a smoker. And like he wouldn't get affected by like the smoking so uh, smoke is like gasping when he dies. I forgot the bills to smoke though. I need to learn to not fucking loot every single fucking room. Ah. <gasps> you can't run, but I walked right. Oh, uh, an improved pitting system for Wolverines. Uh, if you're playing with like ra uh, not randoms, but like if you're playing solo with uh, you know not uh, with AI teammates. Uh, I think it would be really cool if you could tactically control your teammates with like a, a, a pinion stuff, which World War Z does have, but it's super simple and honestly I keep forgetting that that's a thing. Um, um, So yeah, like uh, attack, full tactical control of your teammates with the pinning system, right? Uh, basically, what they would do if there was like a med kit or ammo or grenades, healing items, whatever, whatever, um, they would not be able to. Your teammates would not be able to pick them up, right? Until you have paid uh, the item. Which at that point it's just like free game, like whoever gets it gets it. Uh, or you can also dip it like in uh, Apex Legends, you know, when 
you know, someone pings it and then you ping it yourself with the item. Then your team, uh, then your AI team into the light. Uh, yeah, that's mine. Don't grab it. Stuff like that. Um. Personally, I really, I really like the idea. I think it would fit perfectly in a game like this. Oh, apparently I was a witch something like that. I completely disregarded that. Weapons here. I'll grab a deek. It does sound pretty weird in this uh I'd pack. rather have a grenade, but this will be can have this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's what I just said. Another movement system as well, definitely. Uh, World War Z is a third person shooter, um, and it's a very similar game to. Um, it feels very much like. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba, that game, uh, The Division, right? It, it was very clear that it's inspired by the division um like even with the huts that they had it, it looked Looks very like vision s um, good to me uh, all right on, we're getting get I, I changed the uh key bind that I've done a lot thanks no problem big one Right, I'll heal you. Thanks. Don't get too used to it. Uh, I'll keep this gun. Just the for a bit. And because it's a third-person shooter, um, its movement is very, in my personal opinion, clunky. And especially uh, after the aftermath update, where they added in a first-person mode, which, by the way, I fucking love. Um, ow. Um, you can clearly tell that the movement isn't really all that smooth. I'm trying, I promise I'm trying. Watch my back. Um Reloading! And in my personal opinion, I would much this. rather see the game be Reloading. A first person shooter first, right? Try to make the movement something similar to like Battlefield, Call of Duty, uh Apex Legends. I would fucking love that by the way. Uh, and then, like, add a third person mode as an alternative. In my personal opinion, that would be not only easier, let's just go forward. Uh, not only easier, but just better, in my personal opinion. I'm, I'm sorry, I love first person shooters, I prefer them over thirds. Uh, that's just how I am. I love seeing like the. It's gonna make me sound like a psycho, but I love seeing like the intestines pouring out after exploding. It's so satisfying. Look at Don't shoot this. the car. Again, it's fucking effort. 
to uh you can't double D right now. Okay. Pack to in here. Effort. Um Not sure what else to add. The game does have like a lot of stuff Reloading. that I personally wouldn't like to see changed, which is kind of you know weird considering I said that I loved what was it, which I do. I do think that where it matters, uh, then yes, what would be very good game. I think it's still a really satisfying. A zombie killing game, which is you know, where it counts in my personal opinion. Um, Come on, lazy. Like shooting individual zombies is fun, not as fun. Let me get you. Um, it's not as fun as. Um, it's not as fun as Left 4 Dead, definitely. But shooting more than zombies, in my personal opinion. They did a very good job on the whole, like, there's a thousand zombies on the screen type thing. And it runs really nicely, by the way. Like, I'm running the game on max settings, uh, 2K, um, and I'm getting a perfect 120 FPS, smooth as butter. Which is one good thing about Left 4 Dead clones so far is that all three, like Left 4 Dead S games, uh, at least shooters. I know there's the um, Vermintide series, but that's like melee only. I don't know, I just don't really have that. Molotov over here. Apparently, that's uh, it's actually really fucking good. Fire in the hole! Um. Yeah. But again, I, I don't like melee based games. I like to shoot good. Um. I'm taking this rifle. Is about to blow. Look, sorry, Francis. Grenade, but this will do. I'd rather have a grenade. That is a grenade. Yeah, like I was saying. Uh, I've always struggled with this part, I don't know why, it's quite a difficult. Wait, isn't this the finale? It is! It's a super short level, fuck me. Super short level. Ammo here!
shoot him? Thank you. Oh, I didn't mean to drop. Oh, that's fine.
Lewis. Boom! Awesome. Oh, I love this game. I love the music. I love the gunplay. I love the zombies. I love the levels. Ah, oh, so good. Uh, so we did that, that, so let's do Death to All. I feel like the Left 4 Dead 1 crew is more even. Like, I like all of them, like, the same. Whereas in Left 4 Dead 2, Coach and Ellis, easily the best characters. And then the, the, the other two, which is kind of... I don't really care. You know what I would really like to see? Uh. Excuse me. Uh. Excuse me. I heard reports that Riverside held out. Unless anyone has a better plan, I say we head there. All right, then, let's do it. Is a video game developer that tries to combine Left 4 Dead with Call of Duty Zombies. Um, like, I'm not sure. I think I actually spoke about this in a previous video. But, um,. But well, obviously, like Left 4 Dead and Call of Duty Zombies are two very different games, right? Left 4 Dead is very much a team-based game. Like you cannot play it by yourself. Uh, I mean, you can, but you can't play it without teammates. You have to have teammates, whether it's AI or friends. Um, whereas Call of Duty is obviously. You can play it by yourself, no issue. One level's harder. Something. Oh, Thanks. Smoker! Come on, that was a headshot of a shotgun. Let me patch you. Oh. But I would still really like to see that combo. Fantastic tunnel. Don't be an ass, Francis. Charger! Whoa, this'll blow something up. Man, I don't like this one damn... Here. Grenade. Let's go. Let's Safe 
house up ahead. Come on, come on, everyone in here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hate hay fever. What other like video game combinations would you guys like to see? Uh, I would love to see. Alright, it's gonna sound really weird. Some of you may not actually get this, but Minecraft and Seven Days to Die. Right? I would love to see a combination of those two games. Now you might be thinking, isn't Seven Days to Die These Minecraft must be more realistic? For Riverside. It is. But at the same time, it's not. Interesting true story. Uh, but yeah, it is. But in my personal opinion, I, I think um, Back for Blood. Uh, no, nope. what? Seven Days to Die kind of tries a little bit too hard to be. Like a game with a ton of death and all that. I, I would really love to see like a very simple game like Minecraft, but still as a survival game. Because let's be honest, Minecraft is no longer uh, a survival game. It's an adventure game. Through here. Time now. Fire in the hole. Oh, my God, Zoe. I, I barely use it. We gotta activate that bridge. That'll seal the lock. An assault rifle. Weapons over here! Francis, why? I didn't think you were getting back up. Reloading. Reloading. Damn it! I am. Watch my back. 
Whoa, this will blow something up. Excuse me. Safe house ahead. Roger, look at that job. Ready? Oh yeah, it's a fucking ooh. <laughs> fucking Zoe step right in front of my fucking uh, grenade for the gym. Puke bomb. This code. I guess these guys don't know how to fucking spell. Start alert, it's fine. We can cross up here. Weapons here. Uh, thanks for that. Works for me. Machine gun? Reloading. Reloading. There might be supplies in that house. Don't need open. All right, bet fail, please. I 
don't know why, I just wanted to. Molotov's over here! Fire in the hole! Oh, is this the the church? Yes, it is. Look, I love this. There's uh... lights on in that church. Reloading. So good. Reloading. But blood doesn't matter. I do think it's very sad on how video games have gone downhill. Because they have, there, there's no denying it. They just have, uh, and it, it's a shame. Sir, please, we're not infected. Psycho. If we live through this, I'm gonna freaking kill that guy. Uh, that, that was really cool, like, uh, the guy turned into a boomer in there, it's so cool, I love that. Alright, uh, I'm sorry guys, but I'm going to take a quick break.
Okay, we should be back. Yep, everything's there. Sweet. Alright. Oh. And Riverside's a bust. Let's just get to the river. Alright then, let's do it. I'm so good. It's pretty satisfying as well. Molotov's here! Reloading! Sorry, my brain has just turned me into a fucking monkey then. Street. 
spins over here. I could be AK. I'm like, yeah. Reload. There's a smoker. Look at how many of them there are. Fuck it out. It's a huge load. Grabbing a pipe bomb. Is it like continuous? as fuck boy Reloading. like guess it's like constant fucking board so you need to be a safe no 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 come on guys Everyone's healing, so I'll just do that. Wow! Sorry, I, I. My hay fever is so bad right now.
can. Aha. here. Reloading. Careful. This Reloading. is wide open. Wide open space is actually pretty Get fucking good. Get it off me! Get it off me! Especially for a tank attack. Get to the river through here. Reloading. Reloading. Oh, Whoa. Thank you. That was the finale, yeah. Watch out! Peel's here! Until the rescue boat gets here. Here they come! No, I can't reach that. Wave done. Watch out! Humpers around here somewhere. Fuck. Oh 
shit. I completely forgot you could do that. There we go. Three of four. Nice. That was thirty six minutes, was really? it? Oh, maybe it's because I fucking took a shit for like 20 minutes. Uh, dead air. Right? Dead air? Yeah. Huh. <sighs> Flying out of this place would be a lot easier than walking. Working plane means working airport. I say we head there. Uh... Oh, it's a guitar. No. Baseball bat. Yes, please. What up, boyos? Sheesh, that's a lot. Wow. I love the intestines. I am such a fucking psycho. My favorite level of that third one.
me. Reloading! Pipe bomb over here! Reloading! Through here! Shit, that's the car. Ooh, that was close. I don't have the achievement yet to uh, kill your teammates. I mean, to be honest, I don't really care about you. Smell that smoker? Got a weapon here.
We like walk past the glitch already. <laughs> oh! Okay, do not change the attack. I'm not tempted at once. It uh, did not go as bad. We are gonna have to kill it now. Fuck! Okay, yeah, you can't kill her immediately. Um, this old body Come on, let me patch you up. It. Thank you. That wasn't necessary. There's a safe spot just ahead. There we go. For Christ's sake, people, get in here! Lock that door. Outstanding. Here. 
There's a smoker. Stand a little bit further away from the witch. Reloading. Yeah, I will say, I don't like the sound. Got a weapon uh, here. Beagle. You know, I to me, in my personal opinion, the original Modern Warfare did, had the best Beagle sound, period. I'm sure the defib is much better on higher. 
Again, I, I just don't really care for higher difficulty. Like, when I play video games, I want to complete them. You know, I don't want to be stuck to do them time and time again. And obviously that's a me, too. And I'm fine with it sometimes. For example, Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal was a perfect copy game where it doesn't matter if you die over and over again. Oh, wombo combo, fuck me. There's a safe place up ahead. Reloading. Charger. Charger. Smoker. Reloading! Smoker! Smoker! for this. Here they come. 
Weapons here. Me. I've been trying to um learn how to sleep a little bit better. So I'm like waking up at like nine o'clock now. So I, I used to be a very late Look. kind of person. Hey bro, watch your jet. Watch your jet. Hey bro, watch your jet.
you guys now. Alright. Still have not shot it, that's awesome. I'm not coming from John. Yeah, that was probably my favorite level. 
uh, alongside with No Mercy. But I'm going to be honest, one thing I've realised is the levels in Left 4 Dead 1 were a lot more plain than Left 4 Dead 2. Like, Left 4 Dead 2, they constantly had, like, proper themes. They tried to introduce something new, like, you know, the heavy rain. And there was the, uh, you know, there's always witches about. There was a, a rock concert which had, like, little mini games. That, that was really cool. Alright, um, wow, 2 hours, 40 minutes for the entire Left 4 Dead 1 campaign, shoosh! Uh, I still really enjoyed it though, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, I know I have. So, uh, see you later!